on this, so you can take your seat. Thank you. And now, Thank you. it is an absolute pleasure to introduce poet performer and peace builder, Dr. Rama Mani, who will deliver a special artistic performance on women's empower and owe to the finalists. It's extremely inspirational. While they prepare the stage, because we're going to have a little performance from Dr. Rani, um, I just wanted to let you know that she's not only beautiful outside, it's beautiful inside. Um, and she, her work is inspiring on all of you, the women who are here tonight, we are, the women who we are celebrating. Women, show your colors to the waiting world. Display your dreams that open new horizons. Unfold the depths of your oceanic imagination. Open your wings of courage and determination. And fill our skies with your stars of innovation. Women, share with all of us the secrets of your success. How you defied the odds and invested in your inspiration. How you grew stronger with each obstruction. How you smiled when they said you'll surely fail. How you made friends of all your rivals and turned competition into cooperation. Women inspire all of us to pursue our deepest dreams, to make of this earth a haven of co-creation. What an honor it is to be here in this beautiful hall celebrating you women because you women are the faces of the future, the diverse, the colorful, the courageous faces of the future. In all of my 25 years of work in peace building, in development, in human security on all your continents, I have seen that it is women like you with the unique skills of courage, of creativity, and of compassion who are building a new world for ourselves and for the future. I want to take a short world tour to each one of your continents to meet some of the women like you who are using their skills, whether it's in the midst of crisis or it's in a state of peace, whether it's in war or in sandstorms, to build this new world. Thank you. 
I am Mama Angelica from Peru. I am 82 years old. We Quechua Indians suffered very much in our war. They took away mi hijo, my son Archimedes, when he was only 19. I mended my broken heart by becoming a mother to all the women who had suffered like me. I founded ANFASEP, the Association for the Families of the Disappeared. Together, we lifted our voice for justice. We created a museo of memoria to honor the people we had lost. We set up a shop where our women could sell their cultural products in order to make some small money. Juntos, together, we are stronger than alone. Namaste. I am Radhike from Bombay in India. You know, in my country, most people, they reject the disabled. Parents are ashamed if their children are handicapped. They hide them and waste all their potential. But I knew these children are not disabled. They are specially abled. So, I created Om Creations Trust. We put the girls who have Down's Syndrome in a polytechnic where they learn many skills. Then they work happily together, make beautiful handicrafts, cookies, cakes. Now they are happy, selling their products, earning an income, supporting their families and making their parents proud. We all can learn so much from these angels of unconditional love. I am Chipo from Zimbabwe. My parents were both freedom fighters in the old Rhodesia. My mother was exiled, so I grew up in the refugee camps in Tanzania. I pursued my dream and became a stage actress in London. I use art to bring about social change. I created SAFE in Kenya. We work with the most handicapped communities and tribes and we teach them street theater to bring about the cultural change that they want to see in their own communities. Now, I'm involved in a new initiative around the world called Rising Women, Rising World because we believe that women can co-create a world that will work for everyone. I am Noura from Syria. We all are youth peace activists. We had to flee our country when they imprisoned us, tortured us and tried to kill us. But do you think that has stopped us? Not at all. We have organized ourselves even as refugees. We have formed a civil society coalition of youth for peace. We are making plans for the future. We find clever ways to take our humanitarian supplies to civilians trapped in Syria and being killed like flies by the regime and by the extremists. We know. The future belongs to us. We will fulfill our dream to go back and rebuild a Syria of justice, of dignity, 
and of well-being for all Syrian citizens. My name is Gulalai. I am from the Swat Valley in Pakistan. When I was just 14 years old, I saw that the Taliban were making it impossible for us to get our education. They were not letting us live like full human beings. So I called all my friends together, boys and girls. I formed Aware Girls. We empower girls to be outspoken leaders in our conservative community and stand up for their rights. You know, Malalai, she joined our movement when she was very young. Now she is the youngest to ever win the Nobel Peace Prize. She has taken our message to the United Nations that we girls can shape the future. Speaking of the rights of girls in the future, I want to honor in this august assembly a special group of people who are here from the World Future Council. Many of you would love and admire Gertrude Mongella as much as I do for the last over 20 years. She was the head of the Women's Conference in Beijing, the first president, a woman of course, of the Pan-African Parliament. She's... <laughs> And we are proud that she is also an honorary counsellor of the World Future Council, which just last night gave the Future Policy Award to the best laws to eliminate violence against women and girls. So congratulations to the World Future Council. Mm -hmm. Because it is right here and now that the future begins. And we come back, therefore, to our wonderful finalists. Because you are the procreators of the possible. And I dedicate my last closing piece to you and to the suspense that awaits all of us because no one except this exceptional lady here called Fiorina knows whether your hearts will be beating with joy or disappointment in just a minute. Procreators of the possible. Your eyes spy vistas of possibilities unimagined. Your ears hear the chant of that which longs for change. Your nostrils smell opportunities even in the midst of crisis. Your touch is the blessing which renews and regenerates. You are entrepreneurs that awaken the human spirit. You are procreators of the world we've all long awaited. Congratulations and may we have a wonderful surprise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, a big applause for Dr. Rama Mani for such a powerful and beautiful performance.